Hi, you'll be working with a lot of different media this year in mass media communications, photography, video, audio, and keeping all those things organized is really key. You don't want to be like later in the year and looking for a great photo you took and not be able to find it. So I'd like to show you how to use Adobe Lightroom Classic to organize your photos. We'll start there and then later we'll move into video and even audio. So to get started, let's first look at what we have to work with. We have a hard drive and you'll all have a hard drive in this course if you don't have one already. And before you get going, it's really helpful to give it a name. I've renamed mine Dave. And to rename it, all I did was control click and then click rename. And then you can pick a name that you want. I also have an SD card and I pulled this from a Lumix camera. And you'll see in my DCIM file, the digital image file, I have a number of photos that we'll work with. Okay, to get going, look for Lightroom Classic. Now, it doesn't really matter who you're logged in as. This is obviously the Adobe sign-in little thing. Um, you can find it by going to Applications in your Finder window and by searching that way. And all my Adobe stuff is right here. There's Lightroom Classic. We don't use Lightroom CC. We use Lightroom Classic. If you're working with one of the Studio Macs, you can just drag that icon onto the dock so you always know where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Lightroom. We'll get rid of this. And you can see that it hasn't found a catalog. So I'm going to instead use a default catalog just to get it opened. All right. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just say, yes, use the newer upgraded catalog, because I'm going to make a change in this. Okay, so these are photos that I've already had in Lightroom in another catalog. Lightroom works like this. It builds catalogs, or these listings, of all of your photos. You can then go through and rate them, picking your best, or sort them, and come up with different ways of tracking them down. The first thing I want to do, because this is a new application for you, I want to make a new catalog. And so I just go File, New Catalog. This catalog I'm going to call Dave Lightroom. Uh, I'll call this 2 because I have several. And I want to save this on my hard drive. So you'll see Dave. I've already made a folder called Lightroom, but if I didn't have it, I could just make a new folder right here. And it'll save my new catalog right on my hard drive. You need to back Lightroom up occasionally. I'm going to skip it this time, but usually I do it at least once a week or so. So you'll see it closed to Lightroom and just reopened it as a new catalog. And it's going to check for a quick update. doesn't really have anything to do. And you'll see that now I have a new catalog and I have nothing to put in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's start by finding photos. First off, before I do that, let me just show you a couple things. This is the navigator, and it's going to show you where, um, where you've been, where you're going. This is the catalog, and it's going to show you all your photographs, the previous import, and down here are collections, and we'll get into that a little later. Let's start by importing photos. So I'm going to click Import. And these are the photos that I have on my SD card, which was right over here. Now, if my SD card didn't show like this, I might have to find it in this rack here. And you'll see I have my hard drive, I have my hard my my computer hard drive, my portable hard drive, and I have the SD card. So I'm going to use the SD card, and I'm going to double-click DCIM, and I have all the photos that I have to work with. Now I can import everything I have, or if I don't want to import everything, I can unclick one. So I'm going to unclick this, and I'll unclick this, and I'll keep the rest. Well, to import them, I have several options. I can copy these photos as DNG, or digital negative files, which I don't want to do. I don't really work with those. 
I can copy them as raw files or JPEG and raw files, and I can put the copy on a new location. I could physically move them, and I can move them off my SD card into a new location, and I don't like to do that because I want to keep better control of my photos. Or I could just add them to a catalog, but in this case, I want to copy them. So I've selected copy. Now I need to tell Lightroom where I want to copy them to. Right now, it's going to try to copy them onto my computer hard drive. And I don't want to do that for several reasons. The first is that you all have a portable hard drive, and that's where you need to save all of your stuff. If you save it to the computer, and that computer breaks tomorrow, or someone else logs in and accidentally wipes out all the photos, you're out of luck. So we're going to change this, and here's how we do it. We come down here to Destination, and if that's not open, it just looks like this. And here, I'm going to pick my hard drive, Dave, and I see just these folders. Now, these folders don't exist yet, but these are the dates all these photos were taken. So right now, if I just said go ahead and import, it would actually create all these folders and just put them in, and it may not be very well organized. So I'm going to move this a little so you can see it better, and we'll see if I can just get rid of my thing completely. Um, so I don't want to click import yet. What I want to do is I want to add a destination in Dave, and it's going to be a new folder in my hard drive Dave, and I'll make that, and I'm going to call this Photos. So now I know on my hard drive, Dave, there's right now two, fo two folders. One, and I'll show you what these look like, is Photos, where I just made it. I'm going to keep all my photos there. The other is where my Lightroom catalog is, and it's right in there, and I'm not going to mess with this. So let's choose Photos. That's where we're going to import our photos to. And you'll see inside of that Photos folder, it's going to organize all my pictures by the date they were taken. That's pretty handy. So I'm going to go ahead now and click Import. And you'll see when I move this over, that right up here, it's showing me the progress of importing all these photos into my drive. Okay, so now it's done. I have all my photos and they are in my drive. And just to check, I'm going to double click my hard drive. I'm going to double click photos. And there are those folders. And you'll see everything's organized by date. And I can go ahead and, yep, I can see the photo. And I know I have it now in my hard drive. I don't want to look at them in my hard drive, though. I want to use Lightroom. So now that I have Lightroom set up, let's do a couple things. First, I can see photos in this view. I can rate my photos. So if, let's say, I really like this photo a lot, this is by a student last year, I can give it five stars. Whoops, it looks like everything came in as five stars. Um, I could give this photo, maybe, maybe I'm not so pleased with this. Maybe this is only three stars. Maybe that's four. That's four. It looks like I've rated these one time before. We'll make that four. Here's one I'm going to rate three stars. We'll make this three, three, and I'll make this five. Okay, so now I've given all my photos a quick rating. Now I can look at them a little better, and I can double click. And if I want to look at this, maybe I want to see how close what the focus is like. Pretty sharp, nice, nice shot. Maybe I want to go back and see the grid view again. Or I can just open this and I can now use my arrow keys and you'll see I'm moving to each photo in the track right down here. Well, let's pick a photo. Maybe it's going to be this one. Let's go to the develop mode. And now in develop, I can do all kinds of adjustments. The basic I'm going to show you right now is auto. And to auto expose, just simply click that, and it's going to come up with what the computer and what Adobe thinks is a good-looking photo. 
I can make any adjustments I want. Maybe I want to bring the exposure up a little bit. Maybe the shadows are a little too bright. Maybe I could bring those down. Maybe I want to mess with the contrast and make some very basic changes. You'll see this is called a histogram, and we'll learn more about this. The right side is white, and the left side represents black in the image. You'll see there's a lot more dark in this image than there is white. And if I want to make big picture global adjustments, I can even slide this whole thing with my cursor and make changes across the whole photo. If I click auto or I make some changes and I'm not quite certain I've got it right and I want to see it again, I can double click tone. And now it's reset it to everything being zero just where it is. So that's the basics. That's how to import your photos and just do some really basic look at them. I'm going to stop here. What I'd like you to do is if you've already been working in Lightroom, make sure you have your photos in the correct location and make sure that you know how to do some basic editing with your pictures. If you haven't used Lightroom yet or set it up yet, now's the time to set it up. Remember, we want you to have a hard drive, not your computer hard drive, a folder that says Lightroom, and that's where you're going to make a new catalog. A folder for the destination called Photos, and that's where your photos will be. So, get to Lightroom, start with File, New Catalog, make sure it gets to your hard drive, and we'll take off from there. I hope that's helpful. Ask questions. Thanks.